Thus, we might reasonably say that fasting is feasting. Come on, how cool is that? The ironic thing about fasting is that it really isn't about not eating food. It's not about really abstaining. It's about feeding on the fullness of every divine blessing secured for us in Christ. Fasting tenderizes our hearts to experience the presence of God. It expands the capacity of our souls to hear his voice and be assured of his love and be fulfilled with the fullness of his joy. So when we're fasting, yes, we're abstaining from food, but we're still feasting. We're feasting on God's blessing, every divine blessing that has been secured by Christ. It also tenderizes our heart to where we're more in tune with the presence of God. We're more in tune with the voice of God. I I just love that line, fasting is feasting. So yes, you're giving up some food, you're giving up some drinks, you're giving up some activities that you'd like to be doing. But while you're giving up those things, you are feasting on something that is so much better. You are feasting on the divine blessings, the divine glory that can only come from God.